Welcome back guys. Just want to give a quick shout out to everybody that's been subscribing to my channel and everybody that's been putting comments in my videos. I really, really appreciate it. This channel is for you. I really want to go through all of Cisco's products. If there's something that's confusing or if there's just something that needs to be uh, broadcasted out there on an update about something, that's what this channel is going to be about. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell because if something new does come out, you're going to want to know about it. So in today's episode, what we're going to talk about is the Communication Manager 14 release. And when Cisco initially announced that Communication Manager 14 was going to be out, there was a web page that I'm on right now that talked about all the phones that would not work with Communication Manager 14. They were a lot of the 7960 series phones, 40 series phones, a lot of the phones that have been out for 10 plus years. And when that announcement first hit, I was thinking in my head, okay, this is actually good because hopefully it's going to force people now to get to a newer phone because these phones are so old that Cisco no longer supports them from a hardware perspective and from a firmware perspective. So if the phone breaks or if there's a new security vulnerability that's found out with that specific version of firmware, Cisco is under no obligation to actually fix that. So I thought, hey, this is going to be a great opportunity. People can get new phones, bring them into kind of the modern era, get color, do some digital signage on the, on the phone now because it's got a color screen on there. In reality, I think people just had so many of these phones out there and they're a good phone. I mean, they're, they're rock solid. You put it on your desk, it makes calls, the speakerphone sounds nice. And I think that's all that people wanted and especially in some areas where uh, it's a shared space and a warehouse and stuff like that. There really was no rush to upgrade those phones to something that looked a lot nicer that was any newer than, than what these phones were. So I think Cisco looking at that said, you know what, we've got a little bit of pushback from our customers wanting to still use these old phones, even though they are not supported anymore. And they kind of went back on what they said. So initially this said, all those phones will not be supported. Then a couple weeks ago, this update came out now saying that all these phones will still be supported. So really, the only thing you need to watch out for with Communication Manager 14 is only the phones that were deprecated on Communication Manager version 12 and version 11.5. So in version 12, they we stopped supported the 7921, 70, and 71. 11.5 had a couple more on that list. Um, don't never really saw too many of these 7902s, 7905s, 10s. All these were were deprecated as well on the 11.5 release. So the news or the story around this is there really isn't any news because now if you're on version 12 and you're upgrading to 14, all your same phones will still work because you probably already got rid of these older phones when you moved to version 12. And guys, if you have any questions around that, please post them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you and we'll talk about this. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, thank you again.